Hi, my name is Sharon Spiller and I'm doing 2D mixed media, doing a lot of collage work in my mixed media. And a lot of my collage work has specific meanings for me or when I'm doing commission work, it's meanings for my customers, you know, stories and letters that they wanted to have in the work. And then I do a lot of math equations in there for fun, like momentum and Coulomb's law, just to talk about different things. I actually had started to go to school for chemical engineering. And now my son is going to school for engineering and it's always been the joke about that I was really great at math but you became an artist mom. So he gave me a regular calculus equation and I did it right on my, my work and I'm like there it is. So it's a lot of stories like that and they give me pieces and like he's given me all his homework of physics and Diffie so I can use it in my work. My mixed media process what I'm doing is, is I love old houses. I love old peeling paint. So when you see like a piece of wood that may have like seven or eight different layers of paint that's peeling off, I'm painting and scraping and painting and scraping to just make it look like it's layers of just history. Farther away, they see this really great piece of work and they're like, oh, that's gorgeous. But then when they get closer, they see little details that they didn't see before. So it's kind of a nice surprise. So when they step back, they don't see it, but then they're close. Because a lot of times with bigger pieces of work, especially because I'm also a painter, you get closer and it just kind of blends in too much that you kind of lose the detail. And so now I've just kind of given it two layers. For me with color, it's about life. It's about history and enjoyment. I mean, it's like you can't look at bright and happy colors without feeling a sense of happiness. And you know, sometimes I go a little bit more muted, but there's always something in there to just, uh, you know, give it a spark. I work with acrylics. I used to work with oil. I wish somebody would have told me in college that I should not be putting the paint brushes in my mouth while I was painting with a different brush. I became too allergic to um, paint. I kept painting in oil and I, cause I wouldn't want to do acrylics. But then finally somebody, a fellow painter invented golden acrylics. You can paint like you can in oil with these acrylics. I just learned you have to paint the opposite to get the same effect. I've tried clay, I've tried other stuff, and it was just, it was just always just been paint. And that's the beautiful thing about artists is we all find our thing that makes us happy. And you know, and so we do that. I think all artists need to move. If you saw me in 15 years and I'm doing the same exact thing, it's sad. It is sad because it's like we're creative. You know, if I was an accountant, I should be doing my accounting exactly the same way year after year so it's perfect and right. But as an artist, you have to grow because if you don't grow, your, your art just gets sad and it's just not the way to be. I never feel like I'm at work and it's one of those hard things to try to balance life and work because I don't think me being in studio is work. And so sometimes I have to remind myself, it's like, oh, you've been working for, you know, 14 hours. It's time to go do something. So I'm just lucky I get to do what I love.